Hi guys, welcome to Grayson's four month update. I cannot believe my baby is four months old. Of course, I had to have Grayson in this video so you all could see what he looks like. Look how chubby he is, my little guy. Can you say hi? Say hi. Um, I wrote down a couple notes um, of this past month and I'm just gonna go over them with you. So Grayson, like I said, he's four months old. He weighs 15 pounds, six ounces, and he is 25 and a half inches long. His weight, he's in the 50th percentile. His height, he's actually in the 62nd percentile, so a tall baby. And um, they measured his head and his head's only in like the 42nd percentile. So he has a little head, but I think it looks like a big head. The biggest thing this month is he learned how to roll over from his back to his belly last month he learned how to roll over from his belly to his back um, but now he can do it both ways and ever since he learned out how to roll over from his back to his belly he does it constantly all the time and he like when I'm trying to change his diaper roll 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 when I'm trying to just place him on the floor and like do anything with him roll 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 all he does is roll and it's so funny because he will be on his tummy and he'll be complaining like he's done with tummy time so I'll roll him to his back and then almost immediately he will roll back onto his tummy and then start complaining again it's like if you didn't like that you shouldn't have rolled but it's I think he's just getting excited with like how he can do that so I was really excited when he was able to roll over and it's like he does it so fast now I'll show you a video. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good job. Yeah. He does it like that, like effortlessly. And it's so funny because ever since he started rolling from his back to his belly, he hardly ever rolls from his belly to his back anymore. Like I know he knows how to do it because he will do it every once in a while, but it's like he just gets bored or, or um, he just like really likes being on his belly and he kind of wants to start learning how to crawl now and so it's like he doesn't want to get onto his back anymore so it's kind of like crazy that he won't roll over the other way anymore with him rolling all the time we had to stop swaddling his arms in he loved being swaddled with his arms in. I'll show you a picture of him He absolutely loved it and it just helped him sleep so much better. But now that he can roll over both ways, we had to stop swaddling his arms. So we moved it so the swaddle so that we still swaddle his midsection so it's like tighter on him, but we cannot swaddle his arms. And that was a pretty rough adjustment for Grayson. He did not sleep so well um, the next couple of nights after we kind of quit cold turkey. A lot of times you can kind of like slowly transition them to swaddling. You can just like swaddle one arm in and one arm out. But I just like didn't have time. I didn't think he would roll that fast. Like I thought I still had time to transition him, but I didn't. We had to just do it cold turkey. So it was really hard to transition him, but he's all good now. Grayson can start to um, reach and grab for things. So he will grab like his Sophie the giraffe that he teed, like he likes to chew. He will grab by the neck. Um, he's got this toy bar on his car seat and he will reach and like play with the toys. So yeah, he'll start to play with it. That's like his favorite thing. He will um, reach and grab anything. It's just so awesome to see him like start to like figure out like, oh, I can grab this or oh, I can get that. When beforehand he was just like staring at everything. So that has been really fun to see. His new favorite thing is to reach and grab my hair. And so he always has like fistfuls of my hair, which is really annoying. And he likes to grab people's faces so you gotta be careful when he's reaching out towards you. Grayson still absolutely loves music. He loves listening to anything with noise. Nursery rhymes are his favorite. Um, his favorite is when I put him on my lap and I face him towards me and we'll sing um, any song. We'll sing ABCs. Um, we will sing Mary Had a Little Lamb. We'll sing Ba Ba Black Sheep. We will sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Like he just loves nursery rhymes. So I've been trying to get nursery rhymes that not, I don't know nursery rhymes, but like songs that kind of like teach him along with like 
have uh, being fun to listen to so I teach so I'll sing head shoulders knees and toes to start to him to understand like body parts and the hokey pokey both those songs go over body parts so I'm trying to get him to understand like head shoulders knees and toes right arm left arm foot you know things like that Grayson um can now start to scoot a little bit he doesn't do it very often but if he sees something he really wants he will start to scoot towards it to try to get it I have had him like on one end of a blanket and he has gotten to the other end it just takes him a while to get there um but he will scoot he kind of like gets his butt up in the air and then he like burrows his head forward and that's kind of how it works for him right now um nothing he hasn't been crawling are you talking he hasn't really been crawling or anything but he does scoot a little bit so that's been fun to watch also I'll put him one way in the crib and when I go to get him after he's woken up he's like totally flipped on the opposite side um and he does love sleeping on his belly now at night which scares the heck out of me because you know SIDS and they need to sleep on their back I do put him on his back he just flips to his belly he loves sleeping on his belly or like sleeping on his side so that's been really hard to adjust to but he loves sleeping on his belly this past month Grayson went to his first festival um, we went to the Irish festival here in town um, they do it every year and it's only like 10 minutes away from our house so we took him it was super hot outside but it was super fun and Grayson did awesome he just chilled in the stroller the whole time there were some loud noises that kind of scared him um, people were like whistling really loud and that scared him and there was like a car that revved its engine and it scared him and he did cry um and it's kind of fun to see I mean it's sad to see but it's also kind of fun to see like him develop a little bit of a personality and see like what things like scare him and what makes him happy so it was interesting to see another thing that happened this past month is Anthony and I went on our first date since Grayson was born we celebrated our second year of marriage and so my brother and his girlfriend watched Grayson for us so we could go out to dinner and it was really nice to get away it was sad because I miss Grayson but it was really nice to get away with Anthony we definitely need to plan some more date nights for sure. Grayson has started to notice Felix, um, my cat, a lot more lately and he loves watching him. He constantly wants Felix to come closer. Um, he loves watching him. If Felix meows, he just thinks it's the coolest thing ever. Of course, Felix stays away from Grayson because um, one time Grayson got close to Felix and he reached out and he grabbed a chunk of Felix's hair and Felix did not like that and ever since then he like basically stays away from Grayson so it's really funny to see them interact pretty soon Felix is gonna have to like hide from Grayson because Grayson's gonna be chasing him um but yeah if Grayson's like fussy or in a bad mood as soon as he sees Felix he instantly calms down and that's not just Felix it's any animal too he just loves seeing animals dogs cats he just thinks they're so Fun to look at. Grayson has just now started to giggle just a little bit. Um, I have noticed that he is ticklish on his thighs, his tummy, and his neck. Um, and so let's see if I can get him to, 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 to laugh. Tickle, tickle, Gray. Tickle, 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 tickle. Okay, well, he won't do it. But, yeah, so those are his little ticklish areas. So he has started to giggle out at that. And um, there are times when you'll just be like, boo. And he thinks that's hilarious and he will giggle. But it's very, very hard to get a giggle out of him. I feel like we're back to where in the very beginning he would only smile like every once in a while. And it's very hard to get him to smile. We're, we're like that with giggles. So I know eventually he's just going to be able to giggle you know on cue all the time I can't wait for that this month has been the hardest month uh, in terms of sleep even harder than the newborn stage I have not been getting very good sleep at all um, so he was doing fine and then it feels like ever since he got his two month shots he just kind of regressed in his sleep um, but this month definitely was the worst he for a few nights he was up every hour then for a few nights after that he was up every two hours um and then he one night he was up until 3 a.m 
just totally awake. And it was so bad because he wouldn't let me feed him. He would only let me feed him if I was like holding him upright, like in a sitting position and walking around. It was like very specific. One night he wouldn't even let me like rock him in the rocking chair. He wouldn't let me like walk around and hold him. He was just crying the whole time. Finally, I just had to um, put him in his crib and he cried for about five minutes and then he fell asleep. So that kind of indicated to me that he's kind of ready to learn how to fall asleep on his own. I know they say to wait until like six months sometimes to like cry it out and things like that, but I just think he's ready for it. So um, I have started to just put him in his crib when he's a little drowsy, not fully asleep, and then just kind of let him fall asleep on his own. I do only let him cry for a maximum of 10 minutes and then I go get him, um, but usually before the 10 minutes are up, he's asleep. So it's been working out much better once I figured out like that's what he needed instead of me just like rocking him constantly to sleep. It has been really, really hard sleep wise this month um the four month sleep regression is real and it's hard you want your lamb say hi everybody <gasps> say hi hi grayson has started to like his baths now um so that's been something new he is starting to get too big for the sink so i'm gonna have to figure out something to transition him to the big bathtub he cannot sit up by himself um, I have to help him sit up, so I definitely need something in the bathtub for him to be on. I'm just not sure what yet, but he has started to like baths. He kicks like crazy, and he is content to just stay in the bath as long as he wants. I don't keep him in the bath for too long just because I'm scared he's going to either pee or poop everywhere, and then I'm going to have to give him a bath all over again, but he does like them. Grayson smiles all the time now. Show him your smile. Say smile, 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 smile. <laughs> he smiles on cue all the time. Um, he'll smile to himself. He'll smile at Felix. He'll smile at me. He loves smiling. Even at strangers, he will just smile. If they're smiling at him, he smiles back. Um, here's a couple pictures of him smiling. <laughs> So he's just cute. He's a little ham. He loves flirting with all the girls. Um, he's great. Grayson, another new thing this month is he loves grabbing his feet. Oh, he was just doing it. He loves grabbing his feet and he will bring his feet up to his mouth and suck on his toes. He does it all the time. Here's a couple pictures of him and videos. Grayson? <laughs> are you showing me how flexible you are? Oh, okay. <laughs> How can you do that and toot at the same time? So yeah, he loves grabbing his toes. He's so flexible um, and it keeps him entertained. So I'm happy about it. We have started just towards the end of this month introducing baby cereal to Grayson's diet. So I went and bought some baby cereal at the store. My mom said to start with the rice cause there's like rice, whole grain, and then oatmeal like that you can try. So I started with the rice and you just do like a cup, a little bit of rice, like a tablespoon and then like breast milk in, in with it which by the way, I am still 100% breastfeeding him. No formula yet. Yeah, I just mix that together and feed it to him. He's still trying to understand like how to eat it. Like I'll put it in and most of it he'll like push back out of his mouth. But then like recently he has started to get like, oh, I need to eat this and chew and swallow. So he's still trying to understand it. But 
you know, some people say it helps and some people say it doesn't. I think it does help him sleep longer throughout the night. He's been pulling, like he'll fall asleep at eight o'clock. That is definitely his bedtime is 8 p.m. And then recently he's been waking up at, well, it used to be he'd go to bed at eight. Then he would wake up an hour later at nine, want to eat, and then he would sleep until like two. Um, but now he changed it and so he goes to bed at eight. Then he, now he wakes up at like, 10 30 11 for another feed and then he'll sleep until like 2 33 and then he gets up at like 5 36 and then he gets up for the day at like 8 39 so his sleep is constantly changing he is not one to have like a set schedule he always changes what he's doing one day he'll wake up at one day he woke up at 11 that was the day he stayed up until 3 a.m another day he'll wake up at 8 a.m., 8.30, 9, 10. It really just, I, I never know what he's going to do. So he's all over the place, but the baby cereal, I think, has been working a little bit. So he does sleep through the night. Like, he'll do, like, one five- to six-hour stretch, which they do say that technically is, like, I think four to five hours is technically at four months old, like, sleeping through the night. But I do not count that as sleeping through the night. And it makes me annoyed because there are other people who are Grayson's age, or babies who are Grayson's age, or younger than Grayson and sleeping like eight to nine hours at night so it does make me like wish that that was my baby but it's okay I, I understand that like I know a lot of my friends are formula feeding their babies and I did hear that formula fed babies tend to sleep longer just because the formula fills them up longer than breast milk does. I do think Grayson is starting to teethe a little bit. He loves eating his Sophie the Giraffe teether. Um, he puts it in his mouth all the time. He likes to eat her ears and the legs. I'll show you the video. So he goes to town on it. He's always chew chewing on his fingers, his um, his fists, he likes to chew on blankets, he likes to chew on his feet, um, stuffed animals, you name it, he likes to chew on it. So it keeps him busy. We have started to give him like teethers. I'll put some of the teethers like in the fridge. I've put like a soothe pacifier in the fridge too and then like I'll give it to him if he's fussy and he seems to like the cold. But a lot of it kind of, I don't know if it's really been helping him teeth all that much. Um, it just, yeah, I don't feel anything poking through yet, but they do say that like babies can start teething like up to two months until they actually get like the actual tooth. So it could be a long time that we're going through, but I think like a combination of like grace and teething, him rolling over, constantly being on his belly at night, not being able to swaddle him, the four month sleep regression, I think it just all happened at once. And so that's why we've been having really, really bad sleep this month. So I'm hoping that it gets a little better. See, right now he's chewing on my hand and he'll just chew on anything. Grayson absolutely loves being outside. He loves looking out the window. He loves looking at the trees. He loves just being outside and um, being in the fresh air. He, it's, he's so cute. Grayson now um, squeals a lot when he talks. It used to be like, you know, babbling, cooing. Now, most of the time it's like squeals. Like he sounds like a pterodactyl. It's really cute when he does that. He still does cute coo here and there. Um, and it's so funny. He seems to talk mostly when he does tummy time. Grayson ha does spit up a lot. I feel like he's been spitting up a lot more lately than than normal um and of course always when he's on his tummy during tummy time he will spit up a lot too i've just been noticing that more a lot lately i think that's about it do you have anything to say <laughs> he's my baby i just love being his mommy i love um, raising him i love seeing him grow i love seeing him hit different developments um, different milestones. Um, he just always keeps me guessing. There's always something new with him and he's so wiggly, always on the go. I think that's all for us this month. Uh, can you give him a little laugh, Gray? <laughs> well, no laugh, but you got a smile. So I think that's all. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Say bye, Gray! <laughs> bye, guys!